uh, there will be somebody, of course, from Mireya that would, of course, introduce our, sabi nga nila, very rare guest speaker. No? He graduated with a BS in Industrial Engineering degree from the UP Diliman. And he joined the Phil Estate Group of Companies in 1995 as an organizational development specialist and TQM trainer where his eyes were open to the various opportunities in the real estate industry. 25 years after that, he is still active or actively involved as a PRC licensed real estate broker, appraiser and consultant and accredited real estate lecturer of the PRC and the BS REM or BRIS real, real estate management instructor. He was the secretary general, treasurer and vice chairman of education, corporate treasurer, secretary general. And for today, he is our current NREA VP for internal affairs. Let us all welcome to introduce our first guest speaker, Mr. Jovi Tupas. Thank you very much. President Denis Sumo from our Bulacan chapter. Our speaker was appointed as the chairman of the Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council on July 12, 2017, and as the secretary of the newly created Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development on January 2, 2020. He serves as the chairman of the boards of the National Housing Authority, the Social Housing Finance Corporation, the Home Development Mutual Fund, or Pag-ibig, HDMF, the National Home Mortgage Finance Corporation, and the Human Settlements and Adjudication Committee. He was appointed as chairperson of Task Force Bangon Marawi on October 2017. In July 2016, he was appointed as DND Undersecretary for Civil, Veterans, and Retiree Affairs. On February 2013 to May 2014, he headed the Office of Civil Defense. He was a commander of Task Force Kalihim, tasked to conduct search, rescue, and recovery operations of the late DILG Secretary Jesse Robredo and two pilots in Masbate, wherein he was conferred the Bakas Parangal Award. Prior to retirement in November 2012, he served as the general officer in charge of the Southern Luzon Command. Our honored guest also brings with him significant experiences gained from serving as the general officer in charge of the Southern Luzon Command, commander of the 2nd Infantry Division of the Philippine Army, Civil Relations Office, 803rd and the 1003rd Infantry Brigades, the Joint AFP Special Operations Group, Task Force Davao, the Civil Affairs Group, Philippine Army, and the 73rd Infantry Battalion. He served the government with diligence and integrity as a military officer and other positions for 39 years, during which no cases on graft and corruptions were ever filed. Let us all give an NREA resounding virtual applause to our very own the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development Secretary, Retired General Eduardo D. Del Rosario. Good morning, Secretary Del Rosario. Good day, everyone. Just like any nation in the world, there is no doubt that the Philippines has endured the economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic, leaving various industries to the brink of collapse and the real estate sector was not spared from these challenges. As we exhaust all efforts to address this adversity, we are grateful to Andrea for being with us as we hurdle every roadblock and holding the housing industry afloat and still make a difference to the lives of housing stakeholders. So on behalf of the department, let me greet you happy 30th anniversary. We sincerely appreciate your efforts in helping us lay out our plans and programs. For the past three decades, you have been promoting the real estate sector while fostering professionalism among your members, composed of professional brokers, agents, and industry players. You have been enduring in promoting home ownership and securing private property rights. 
as a major real estate organization, not only are you proficient in the selling and purchase of real estate properties, but also in providing a healthy environment for research, information exchange, and professional development. Of course, you would not have become as successful as you are today without the grueling and selfless efforts of your founder, Jose Ka Pepe Manalan, and his colleagues during his productive years. We may no longer have him, but you and the homeowners he assisted are living testament to Ka Pepe's goodwill and determination to help the housing industry. While enhancing real estate standards and ethics, Ka Pepe is truly an icon of the sector. With this outstanding background, I am certain that you will move forward hand in hand with your members and the Filipinos who were once dreamers and had now become homeowners themselves. Again, congratulations and may you continue to make the Philippines real estate sector secure, alive, and bring with compassion and success. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at happy National Shelter Month.